Hey, what's going on, my math party people? Coach Anderson here, and we're going to go ahead and tackle a pretty interesting question here. So, as always, we want to start by reading the question first. And, you know, as you pause the video and try the question out yourself, yeah, this is your chance. <laughs> go ahead and pause the video and try it out. Uh, but when you're back, um, after you read the question and you see, hey, how much will material B cost? You know, we already immediately know that we're talking about material B. There's a cost associated with it. So you really got to think about, hey, you know, what are the details? Is it, you know, costing me per pound, per length, per whatever? And as you read the question, it'll really open itself up to you because you'll see that not only do we have material B, but we also have material A. So we need to buy these two materials to complete a project. And so we're told some details about A. We see that material A costs 28 cents per inch and we need four feet of it. But that doesn't really tell us about material B. This next part, this is where things really, really, really start coming together. And that's when we read the following. When it says the total cost of the materials is $176.74. That's the biggest key, uh, piece of information really for us. Because we can make the simple statement just like this. We can say material A plus material B, the total cost, would be $176.74. I hope that you agree with that, right? You know, that's not anything crazy. That's not anything false. That's right up the alley. Now, we can use that to say, hey, look, if we're trying to find the cost of material B, well, then let's go ahead and just take away material A and we'll get B by itself. Or if we want to think about it in simpler terms, to find the cost of B, We'll take the total cost, that 176.74, and we'll subtract the cost of A, just like that. And before you continue, just remember, you can get a free week to our full program, no credit card required. All you gotta do is text TRIAL to 833-321-0182. Do that real quick, get a free week, join all the classes, and raise your score. So let's go ahead and work to find out what the cost of A is, because if this is our only relationship that we have to work off of, well, to find B, we need to know A. Once we have A, we subtract and we have B. So hopefully that makes sense, my math party people. So let's go ahead now and let's figure out what the cost of A is gonna be. And that's revealed to us right over here. Material A costs 28 cents per inch and we need four feet of it. So when we try to work that math out, be very, very careful here because it's not gonna be 28 cents multiplied by four. Remember, what we read here is 28 cents per inch, per inch. So what we need to multiply by, it's gonna be the total inches. So given that we have four feet, we need to turn that into pure inches. So let's come on down over here. Again, this is four feet, so we don't want that. What we want is to convert that into inches. And remember that for every foot, you have 12 inches. So four feet, Multiply that by 12 because again, every foot is 12 inches or 12 inches per foot. And that's going to give us 48 total inches. So now that we have that, that's what we'll be multiplying by 48. So let's go ahead and give myself a little more room with this pen here and let's do the multiplication. So we have 0 0.28 multiplied by 48 and let me go ahead and take a pause. For those of you who are a little more advanced with your mental math, I wanna show you something pretty cool here. So I'm gonna solve the question, don't worry gang, but for my people that are a little more advanced, let me know if this makes sense in the comments section. So notice how we're doing 176.74 minus whatever A is. We know that once we do this product here, once we multiply, that'll be the cost of A. So let's just purely think about simple, simple, simple subtraction. What is this four, this four in the hundredths place? What are we gonna be subtracting from the A? Well, to get the hundredths place, that's just gonna be whatever eight times eight is, right over here. Eight times eight is 64. Because remember, in the next line, we put a zero automatically. So that'll be four, that'll be zero. So that'll be a four at the end. So if we have a four minus a, a number ending in a four, our number will end in a zero in the hundredths place and the only one is C. That's the only one with a zero in the hundreds place. Again, this is just some advanced test taking strategy, especially if you know how to do the product, 
but you also know how numbers work. So let's go ahead and get back to the actual solution. Again, let me know in the comments section if that little shortcut made sense to you. So here we go. Eight times eight gives you 64. Then two times eight is 16. Carry the two is 22. Now we'll bring down a zero for the next line, for the next digit here, the four. Eight multiplied by four is 32. Two multiplied by four is eight. Carry the three is 11. So as I discussed earlier, I said, hey, look, right here, this place value, it was gonna end up being a four. And because we're subtracting that, that's how I ended up getting that zero at the end. But we now have two plus two, two plus one, and then the one there. We now need to go ahead and bring back two decimal places. So that'll end up being $13.44. This is the cost of material A. So what we'll do now is we'll take that cost, and like we said, we'll take the 176.74, the total cost of A and B, and we'll take away the cost of just A, and we'll be left with B. That's the idea here. Notice how we have a four and four at the end, so when we perform the subtraction, we'll get a zero at the end. Then we have seven minus four, and that's three. Six minus three, and then if we continue there, seven minus one is six, and then we have a one. So $163.30, that would end up being the final answer, again, representing the cost of material B. So the correct answer here is C. Again, my party people, let me know if you like the way that this video was presented to you. My name is Coach Anderson. Comment, like this video, and subscribe for more. We'll see you soon. And before you go, I want you to mark your calendars for the next free class. If you haven't been to one of my classes already, I'd love to have you in there and helping you raise your score. So all you have to do is text, hey, when's the next free class, to our automated line, 833-321-0182, and you'll get a reply very quickly about the information for the next class, including the link. So my party people, I'll see you in the next free class. Sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB.